Today I'm going to help you in terms of fixing your love life. I'm going to help you understand how to manifest a specific person or manifest a brand new love relationship. But I want you to understand that they're actually the same thing. So if you have been wondering whether or not you should try to manifest a specific person or if you should just go general or how to release resistance around manifesting a specific person, why it's so hard, I'm here today to show you that it's actually really easy and how you can do it, how you can do it well, how you can do it fast, how you can get those results. <laughs> so if you are new to my channel, I am someone that makes videos on the law of attraction because it completely changed my world for the better when I learned about it, when I started implementing these techniques and now I like to shout it to the world to help other people change their lives for the better. We're going to talk love life today. If after this video you decide you would like to work with me or check out some of my self-study programs, dreamlifebyveronica.com is the place to go. And also please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And well, let's get right to it. <laughs> okay, so manifesting a specific person is actually less about the person and more about you. This is why I said that manifesting a specific person and going general are actually exactly the same thing. I don't want to scare you in terms of you thinking, well, if I try to manifest a specific person, I'm somehow going to get someone else. I'm somehow going to get someone who's similar but not the same. It's not true at all. And manifesting anything should always start from you should always start with you having the experience what it is like to be in love. Like we want to manifest a love relationship because we're going to imagine ourselves in love, being loved, being treated well, being treated with respect, with kindness, being shown adoration, being shown, being shown the highest form of love, just unconditional love, appreciation. Like all of these feelings, all of these sensations, like not in one moment did I say anything about it being about a person or being it about or having it be about, you know, in a general way, like somebody's just going to show up. <laughs> so when I described all of these things, I didn't once describe the person. I described the way it would make me feel or the way it would make you feel. So manifesting something, manifesting an experience is about feeling yourself as having the experience, having the sensations of, of being with this particular thing. And the way you can best manifest a specific person is by focusing less on them and more on you. And the interesting thing is that if you have a specific person in mind, you shouldn't spend all of your time reinforcing who this specific person is because that just creates a sense of fear. It creates a sense of insecurity. It creates a sense of sort of a lack of confidence as if you are trying to say that the universe, your highest creative power, is somehow stupid and is somehow going to accidentally send you the wrong person. The universe, highest creative source, the God within you, is the most creative, intelligent, brilliant source there is, it's not going to get anything wrong. It can't get anything wrong. It can't misunderstand anything. Like it can't because it is that brilliant. It's that powerful. It's that amazing. It's that wonderful. It will not mess up. So stop trying to suggest that it's somehow stupid, that it's somehow needing you to reinforce who this specific person is. Like the universe is you, so it knows who this specific person is. So your job is to get in touch with feelings, gratitude, love, becoming love. And the interesting thing is, is that if you have a specific person in mind, you will manifest this person. You will also manifest additional people. Don't be afraid when I said additional people. I did not say substitutions. I said additional people. And I want you to have the satisfaction of getting the specific person and of getting additional people and of getting to choose who is highest and best for you. Now, I did this in my own life when I manifested a specific person. I've actually done it a few times and I've done it in the case of the person that I am with today, the person that I have been in love with 
the person that has been in love with me for a while. Like it's my relationship for good. <laughs> it is brilliant. And the way I manifested it was that I had this preference for him, but I also focused mostly on me being able to be treated better than I ever had before, treated with respect. I did not use the failures of my old relationships. I did not use the breakup as a point of reference because I was manifesting someone who there had been a breakup with. I chose to focus on love and being loved from the highest possible place in a brand new place. And it was all about me. And the cool thing is, is that I, again, had this preference for him, but I was also open to picking the highest and the best for me. And this is why I said that manifesting a specific person and going general are actually the same thing. So if you've been wondering what you should do, don't do either. Make it about you. You'll get the specific person. You'll get additional options. You will get to choose. In my case, I chose my specific person. I could have made a different choice. <laughs> in fact, I have in the past manifested a specific person, people I'm not with today, because I ended up choosing the other option. So you should get to choose. And you will only manifest this specific person when you are in a confident energy such as this, this idea of I get to choose, this idea of this whole journey is about me. It's about the way I feel I can be loved. It is the love that I am giving out. It is my feelings of being able to be respected. It is the way that I know that my happiness is not based on being loved by another person. You are only going to manifest this person when you make it about you. And like I said, the cool thing is, is you will not only manifest this person, you will manifest additionals, additionals, and you will be in a position to pick, to choose, to decide, wow, I have this, these amazing options being just given to me. This is the, the feeling and the knowing that the person who gets to spend the rest of their life with you is actually the lucky person. It isn't the other way around. You aren't the lucky person to be in their presence, to be having them love you. It's the other way around. They are lucky that you even want to give them the time of day, that you even want to love them, that you have chosen to love them in return. So manifesting love, manifesting a successful love relationship is about realizing your worth, realizing your value, realizing that your happiness doesn't come from being loved by them. Your happiness comes from your sense of self, your love of life, your love of knowing that you are someone that is so brilliant, so beautiful, so special, so unique, that of course this person would love you. Of course you can be with your specific person or choose from a brand new option. Of course you can have these things. Of course. <laughs> Some ways to get in touch with this love is to, well, you could do different sorts of techniques like visualizing affirmations, but I really like just practicing mindfulness. When you look in the mirror, start seeing yourself as someone who can be in the ideal partnership. Start appreciating and loving life from a whole new level from a level that speaks such gratitude that you start being so in awe of even the simplest, littlest things, where you start seeing miracles all around you. For example, there's birds singing in the distance here. Those birds are a miracle. I am sitting in a beautiful place. You know, you can go out into nature right now and sit amongst the birds and feel uh, the beautiful power, the beautiful majesty of this earth that we live in. You can smile at other people. You can become loved that way. And I would urge you to do that. I would urge you to get your focus off of trying to manifest this specific person and to just know that the universe knows who this person is. In fact, you don't even have to think about them. <laughs> you don't have to keep reinforcing them. You can just think about yourself and being loved. Honestly, that is like the fastest shortcut to getting this person to pursue you. So I want you to start really thinking about that, really pondering that, really starting to understand that your life is for you. 
to fall in love with yourself and to let love come to you, to let love find you. Again, you will end up getting your specific person and many, many more to choose from. And what a wonderful feeling that will be. All right, Veronica, that is me. <laughs> I am in Sigishwara, Romania. That is one of the lovely towers behind me. I am so happy to be here on this wonderful day sharing this knowledge with you that I hope can change your life for the better. Have an amazing rest of your day. If this video worked for you, do leave a comment below. If you have questions about this video, leave a comment below. I love to interact with you. Dreamlifebyveronica.com is where you can get my self-study programs, where you can learn more about me. And please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Have an amazing day. Now, are you trying to manifest someone and it feels impossible? If so, check out this video here because I have all of the answers and solutions that you need to make it not only feel possible, but to in fact get the results you deserve.